Well, 2021, it was a bit of a mixed bag for the FANG trade. Apple and Alphabet outperforming the broader market, but Amazon and Netflix lagging way behind. My next guest says it's time to consider a very different tech trade. He even created his own brand new acronym for it. Let's welcome David Bonson, Chief Investment Officer at the Bonson Investment Group. David, happy holidays. Thank you for being here. Good to be with you. Happy New Year. So in the market right now, we got GARP, we got FOMO, we have FANG, and you came up with a brand new one. Tell us what the acronym is and what are the components of your new acronym? The acronym is IC. Uh, ICI is sort of short for Intel, Cisco, and IBM. But the theme of it is old tech. It's the uncool tech, the stuff that actually makes the world turn that is necessary for new tech and so much of our technology infrastructure, particularly in business enterprise. But it has been forgotten because it does not have the fast growth rates that these other names, particularly the FANG type names, have. The difference is, of course, valuation. The FANG basket trades in an aggregated multiple of about 45 times earnings, with some names in that basket trading over 70 times where Cisco, Intel, IBM are trading at low teen multiples. And in fact, Intel is only at 10 times earnings. So you have growth catalyst inside of value stocks. That's the idea behind IC. All right. Well, your thesis here is that you can get similar or maybe even the same earnings from what you call old tech. I don't want to make old and not cool synonymous. I'm going to break that up right now, David. But you're saying you can get the same or similar earnings from this IC trade as you can from FANG. Is this a long-term play or a short-term play? What's the horizon for all this? Oh, it's, it's definitely a long-term play because these things are untimable. It's one thing about valuations, and I heard the prior segment on NVIDIA. We think valuations do matter. We want to avoid very high valuation companies that we think are unsustainable, but they're not timing mechanisms. And 2021 was proof of that. You saw a lot of technology fall off a cliff this year. A lot of the real cool, and you're right, it doesn't necessarily matter about age, but But there's a lot of newer (laughs) names that did very poorly in 2021, but the FANG names mostly hung in there, not so much Amazon and Netflix. The fact of the matter is that we don't know the timing of when FANG suffers, but we do believe right now there's a good play with IBM, Intel, Cisco, and you get paid for it now. You do not have to wait to monetize the investment. We're dividend growth investors, and these are three names offering cash flows that are about three or four times the market, three or four times a 10-year treasury bond, while you're going to be getting paid eventually through, we think, wonderful price appreciation. You know, eventually is one of those nebulous words, David. You actually made this call back on June 9th with Kelly. I wasn't here. So I'm going to have to ask you a couple questions here. IBM and Intel, two of your picks from June 9th, they're far underperforming the S&P, which is basically flat since then. Cisco outperforming, in all fairness, Amazon, Apple, and Alphabet also basically flat since then. You're also highlighting the dividends in this play. Is that where you see a lot of value at? Because the stock performance is pretty similar with a lot of these FANG names in your IC trade, with the exception of Cisco. That's right. And again, we're not six-month traders here. We're, we want to hold these things for sustainable market returns like investors, And so we do have a long-term timeline, and those dividends reinvesting at lower prices add to the compounded total return. This is something long-term market investors have known for years. But but I believe that over a six-month period, you did see the market start to really wake up to Cisco's story. Intel and IBM, it could take much longer. I actually think IBM is 35% higher than where it was a year ago when we first really woke up to this. But Intel is going to take longer because their margins are suffering as they put a lot of investment into CapEx to help with this whole nationwide semiconductor story. If that takes a couple of years, it takes a couple of years. But what we're suggesting is that investors will be richly rewarded in time. All right, David Bonson with the IC trade, brand new acronym for Wall Street to end the year. We appreciate it. Thank you. Kelly, over to you. Thank you both.